Hi guys, good afternoon to everyone, good afternoon to all my lovely and cherished viewers. Of late, I've not been feeling well, but thank God that I'm getting better. And as usual, I am here to share a very interesting topic. Um, last week or so, I was in town. I wanted to actually monitor and find out whether Let Accra work again, the campaign that the um, Greater Accra Regional Minister, Mr. Henry Kwati, the project that he has started, Let Accra work again. I wanted to actually find out whether things are things are going the right way. Things are going the right way. At times we see things, but how to enforce them becomes a problem. So I have a video that I will be showing after uh, my presentation because I actually want people to know that let's all come together. This is a very nice move by the Accra Regional Minister, and we all have to support him and then make sure that. Accra works again, and I was very, very, very happy. Um, if you look at, um, starting from Achimota, coming towards to, um, coming towards Pukwasi, where I personally live, there have, there have been a lot of changes. There has been a lot of serious changes. Um, the way the people behave, the way the hawkers um, do their businesses, the way the, the trotros, the, the trotro, and then the tiger, the way they pack, the way they stop and load, Everything is changing. I actually met the, the um, I was there when I met uh, a team from, um, um, I, I don't know if they were from AME or they were from the ministry, um, I don't know. So I actually saw them at Pukwati Junction where the overhead is and they were enforcing the, the Let Accra Work Again campaign. And it was very amazing when I look how clean the way the cars were doing the right thing, the truck trolls, they were showing them where to park, where to not to stop, to avoid traffic and all those things. It was very, very amazing. And that as human beings, that is what we should we should all um, we should all try to um, support when 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 there's any agenda that will push Ghana forward, that is what we should be looking at. And as a content creator, I always said, um, I use my channel to always make sure that anything that is good, anything that will help mankind, anything that will sanitize the system, that is what I am here to do. So I wouldn't sit down and let this thing go without informing other people who are not aware that let the Ghana, let a crowd work again campaign is working. Actually, it is very, very working. If we get to Pukwasi right now, it is sanity. The way the truck truck drivers, the taxi drivers, the cadets, and all those things, when they were missing all the hit, the whole thing, the whole place up. Now it is everything is in, um, everything is in order. The truck truck doesn't stop anyhow. The uh, the committee doesn't cross anyhow. Everybody know what they are doing. So there is free traffic, and there is um, everything is done in organized manner and that is that is the good thing and I wouldn't I wouldn't forget to share this important um, information because it is actually indeed Ghana is working again Accra is working again and I have to thank the regional minister for trying to take in the boost step he left all the the disadvantages that it will come against his political ambitions um, you are going to run when you are, when you are taking these measures up uh, uh, by by all means you are going to it's going to affect some people some people are going to dislike this but he stood firm he 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 wanted the best for Ghana he wanted the best for Accra and he stood firm and said whether politics or not I am going to do the right thing and in fact everything I think he's on the right path and Ghanaians are getting to support support him and it is very very important that we have to acknowledge him and i'll be showing the video and a very about five minute video of how Pukwasi and how the truck truck people are now how they stop and pick people you see that it is being done very very in organized way they, they they do it so well that you will not see people jumping here and there, pickpockets all. No, the way they are doing everything is being done very, very well. So I will be showing the video, and it's about five minutes video. You can see how how free everything is. If human beings were supposed to to behave like 
like human beings, like the way things are going right now, we will not be having problems. We will not be having traffic on our roads. We will not be having pickpocket, um, picket, um, pickpocket, um, stealing from us, and all kind of um, criminality happening because everything is now being done in orderly manner. And that is why we should praise the regional minister. Um, for. But the, the annoying thing is that I also went to, I think I've been to Accra, to Accra Central, and it looked like though the same thing is happening there, but they have moved, they are, I think the, the, the hawkers and those things, they are gradually moving back into the main route. They are actually moving back small, 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 because I think I was there three days ago um, at Accra Central, and I've seen how the hawkers are trying to get back to the road. And I know if care is not taken, small, small, they will, they will find themselves in the middle of the road again selling. And we have to look at that. Um, actually, this um, program is just to highlight some, some issues that are not um, right in the system. And, and I was also happy to look at the Joy News um, Clean Accra campaign. I watched the program and I was very shocked when um, certain things were revealed um, at the uh, old Fadama where people have to go to the toilet. They are still using latrine uh, as a form of, a, of um, how will I put it, toilet where people go and ease into uh, basins and then people carry it and go in. They don't know where they threw the, the, uh, the toilet. It is, it is unhelpful. It is, it is very, very, very bad. I watch all those programs and I want to recommend um, Joy News and then um, the AME. In fact, they are doing very well. Um, they, they've taken the initiatives and they are trying to make sure that they actually make a crowd clean. They actually make a crowd work again, and I'm very, very happy about it. I actually watch that program, and it is what they are bringing out the kind of conditions, um, um, how will I put it, butchers. Um, where butchers sell their meat, how the places look like. They are, they are bringing a lot of interesting things up, very, very, very bizarre things. Um, some ungodly uh, practice that people are uh, doing to make money, it is unheard of. And I'm so, so happy, Joy FM, I'm sorry, um, Joy News, I actually um, I'm happy about this your program. And then AMB, I have to salute them. I've seen a lot of their men also trying to make sure that they, we practice the right things, and that is that is a mark of a of a um, how will I put it? That is a mark of a a good um, um, a good country if you are trying to make sure that every agency is doing their work properly. That is very good because I'm I'm, I'm now seeing that AMB they are trying to do they are targeted a lot of areas and then they are making sure that. People will always um, um, they will check and make sure that things are done the right way. Especially what I saw yesterday on TV was very bad. How can people be um, eating in the basins and be carrying to if human beings who carry toilet and go? It, it is it is unheard of and it is bizarre. It is bizarre, and I'm sure they and me, in fact they were even demolishing that particular toilet. But there are a lot of them around that they are still. Um, have to look at and I was so happy to see that they are making measures and they were even giving options that people, them, those who are affected should come to the AMA office so that they will be able to uh, get them some, um, how will I put it, they were able to get them some some help, assistance to be able to erect proper um, public, place, uh, public toilet for um, the public. Because if you look at the excuses they were given, we don't have toilet here, we have to walk miles before we can get a proper toilet and all those things. Everything that we have to understand is that we have we like giving excuses so much. So in anything that we want to do, if we want to keep on talking about excuses, giving excuses, we will not be able to do what we actually want to do. So what I'm saying is that um, the AME enjoy news, I, I actually try to they are, I actually understand them properly, and I want to recommend them that they are doing a fantastic job. And we need a lot of agencies, government agencies, that everybody should try and do their their work. And then Ghana will work again, Accra will work again, and then um, Ghana will be the envy of um, other countries. 
Now, the third topic, the third issue I wanted to also look at is that um, the cathedral. I've heard that um, there is a fundraising raising activity that is going on, and they are expecting people to pay. It is voluntary. The finance minister is saying that people can voluntarily pay 100 cities into um, the fund. The fund. So um, it is. It is not by force. It is voluntary. But it has been a. a it has been a, a debate. A debate. A debate or a dispute or um, whatever it is. People don't want to understand. Some people don't want to understand. But, but the question I want to find out is that something that is an optional. If you don't want to pay, get keep quiet. If you are going to pay, you pay. If you don't want to pay, keep quiet. The fact that you are not going to pay, you don't need to come and give people reasons why you don't want to pay. The thing is optional. If you have money, you pay. If you don't, if you want to pay. If you don't want, nobody will force you. So if you don't want to pay, get keep quiet. There's no need to reason to tell people the reason why you don't want to. You, you don't want to pay. I don't see anything reason. Any reason why if you want to pay, you pay. That's it. If you don't want to pay, to Nobody will force you. There's no need for, 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 for us to give reasons why I am not paying or I should pay. After all, it got to work. Whether it is NDC or it is MPP, the word why it is associated with God work and you, want, you have something to give, you can give. If you don't want to give, nobody will question you. But if you don't want to give and you come out to poison people's mind that why are they saying this, everybody can raise funds. You can you can appeal for funds at any time in your life. And if you are appealing for funds, you don't force people. People have to do it voluntarily. And if you are going to do something voluntarily, you don't have to force people to um, you don't have to come out and rubbish it or say bad things about it. Either you do or you don't do and then you keep quiet. Matter close. But if you want to make it look like the fundraising um, idea is bad. No, I don't. I don't actually get it. That is another issue that I wanted us to um, also bring to um, the notice of the public that it is a good thing that if they are building a cathedral, is good. But um, the fundraising activity that the finance minister um, is asking is voluntary. It's not. It's not by force that you should. You should. Um, you should have to take it personal and then um, trying to say a lot of bad things about it. No, no, no. So that is that is basically what is um, all about the cathedral. Now let's come back to um, let's come back to circle. Actually um, I have been to circle some um, so many times this I think this month alone. I've been to circle like five or six times in Circle. I don't know how Circle can be part of the Clean or Me Ghana campaign. Um, I can't work again. I don't know how Circle is going to be part of it because Circle is still the same way. Nothing is working in Circle. No law is working in, at Circle. Everybody is doing whatever. It pockets the 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 the, the, the hawkers, the phone sellers. They are almost at the roadside. They are almost in, in the middle of the road. Everything is so. I wanted to ask that won't they also try to enforce this thing so that it can also work in a circle? Because circle looks like that is the business center. I mean, I even see circle as a business center than Accra itself. But how to control or make things work the right way at circle is becoming, is becoming unbecoming, it's becoming very difficult. So I strongly believe that we have to try our possible best and also make sure that I'm putting this message to the minister that is uh, let Accra work again. You have to extend it to circle. Actually, you have to make sure that things at circle are done properly because everything is still the same thing. What I know about circle that, uh, 10 years, 5 years ago, it is still the same. I've been there like 3 days ago, ago and it is, it is a mess. Everywhere is a mess. No, no, um, nothing is done at the right at uh, the right way everything is done appropriately and we have to look at it because circle two is one of the uh, the best um how will i put it it's one of the the most important places in accra here so uh, i think the any um the minister of accra Henry Kwati, you have to look at uh, honorable Henry Kwati, you have to look at circle two and make sure that you go there and make sure the right thing is done